turn 12. So, um, Mahimka didn't meet any of the cities and dwellings. It didn't do anything in terms of um, risk governance. And I've been exploring the area with my crow. So I, I went a bit in this direction, then used the iceberries um, and moved here. I decided to check the Sunken City uh, to see if I could clear it. And it's uh, one Red King, two Red, two Banshees, so it's not too hard to clear. But that's the uh, unit set where you don't get a lot of sleep. That's the unit set where you get an item. So it's not that good. Um, meanwhile, with my leader, used the haze berries and moved here. Here it's two ogres, one and, um, dread spider baby, and one um, warg. So doable, but not with four units and one injured. Um, then I spotted the, the watchtower and a nice combination of a rune stone of cold furry which gives strong will and a castle of the lich king so that's pretty perfect because i can get strong will all, on all my units and i then do not have to fear the um invoke death of the dread reapers and uh, the mammoth is going to be pretty tough with 100 percent frost 100 percent um, spirit protection then he is immune to the, the benches and uh, pretty good against the, the Dread Reapers. I took some uh, gold stash. Um, yeah, there was a gold stash here. So I took it. It was 97 gold. Um, my hero also took some gold there and then moved. Um, and because I'm not sure if there are some brigands, so I moved on a mountain here, um, and I spotted the cave entrance. So I might go there, but I think I'm I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to try to charm the phantasmoyer. So it's good because it's two phantasmoyer, no wisps. So it should be pretty good to to try to charm. Um, then I'm going to do that try to charm a swamp daughter. Um, a goblin blight doctor would be very good but 11 resistance so lower chances to charm but then you can get weakening which helps to to charm units but um, more risky and I think it's good to have swamp daughters really really good units and um, really good against elves with the blight damage if they don't die that is um, before hitting and possibly if I send them underground, they've got, got uh, cave concealment. And uh, if I get another one here, um, I could send two. But I think it's better to keep them with me instead of sending them to to the cave entrance because uh, when used in manual combat, they can be very good. Then there is this. Um, unsure about this site, but we'll see. Um, so I'll probably do that, that, uh, in, come back, do this maybe do that, need to check this area, then watch the other uh, castle, then probably embark, because actually there is no road between the two, so I would have to come back and go through the, the giants, which is quite risky. Um, so probably embark, and then either do the second city, or just go straight, and I need to calculate the movement points also, because I could use that possibly, and then move and then go do that, but um, it's going to take a lot of turns, really a lot of turns, so if I, that is if I don't die before. Or I go underground, but then I don't do the last city. Um, my second crow checked a bit this, the area east, um, and then then went back, used the haze berries, moved west. Um, because I want to go towards my Himka, but on the ground, which should be better to avoid hunters. Um, and then I want on the water to be sure that I'm not killed by roamers, by scoundrels. 
I found uh, a furry dwelling, but I'm not sure if I want to make contact, but I didn't. Um, because if I make contact, then I've got less quests from the Nagas. Um, and that could be useful to get quests from the Nagas or from my Frostling nearby independence. Uh, and here I probably not, I'm probably not going to come to the to the phase, so it's not really that useful to to get in touch with them. I'm not wing, moving to other dragons for the same reason. Here, so I checked this area, then moved here, so that next turn I can reach my throne. Um. Ah oh shit! Did I? Yeah. Okay, I need to move here. I, I I forgot here it's a west wetland so if I don't move here I cannot reach next turn um, I think so I didn't keep any unit at my throne which might be a mistake um, but hopefully because he hasn't met the the Nagas so I'm assuming I'm assuming that he hasn't moved that far east and so that I'm safe, hopefully. That's true. And uh, so next turn, I'm going to have... Because I completed the, the Builder's Hall. And next is Raider. So next turn I'm going to have a Raider here. Then I send a Scoundrel to defend. And the reason I sent all my units away is that I like to do the, um, the quest. And I've got only two turns left. So this turn and next. Um, so I'm sending... I sent... Three... No, four units, sorry. There's one here. Plus my hero. Um, so hopefully I clear this first. Then I get one more unit. Then I do the, m the mine. Hope it works. Then I can do another grid farm. And then possibly the, the quarry. And then we'll see. Is that... Is that a heart here? No. It's a mountain. Yeah. There is something here it seems. Or it's just a mountain too. Um so in terms of research in two turns I'm so in turn fourteen I'm going to be able to cast Seek Inspiration to hopefully unlock um Corrupted Killers. Meanwhile I'm going for Clocked and Dagger. And at some point I will need basic ciphering for my troops to cross the water. That's it for the turn. Um, thanks for watching and see you next turn.